Hello, I'm Adam from No Rolls Barred, and welcome to Board Game Club, where the first rule of Board Game Club is subject to rule F26. A jockey must be seen to ask their horse for timely, real, and substantial efforts to achieve the best possible position, and take all other reasonable and permissible measures throughout the race to ensure the horse is given a full opportunity to achieve the best possible position. Every week, we gather our friends together to play a board game to show you how much fun board gaming can be, even under the constraints of lockdown. And this time around, we're doing things a little bit differently and playing a parlor game called Dobbins or Bobbins, originally featured on the Mark and Lard Breakfast Show on BBC Radio 1 in the late 90s. Yes, this is niche stuff, but this game is brilliant and it's so easy and funny to play over Zoom. One player is the host and everyone privately sends them a list of five made up horse names. Horses have stupid names, you see, like Chauncey's Marmalade, Steady As She Goes, Private Zeus, or Fancy Boy's Regret. Then the person running the game goes online and finds five real horse names. Just Google horses that ran yesterday, you'll find a bunch. The game takes place over five rounds. Each one involves the person running the game reading out one of each player's fake horses along with the real horse. Then once you've heard all the horses, everyone just writes down which horse they think is the real one. If you get the real horse, you get three points. If someone else thinks your horse is the real one, you get one bonus point. And if no one guesses the correct horse, the person hosting the game gets three points. After five rounds, whoever's got the most points wins. It's very silly, but oh man, I love this game to bits. And they're off. Joining me on Board Game Club for this week, I am Adam. Hello. I'm joined by Blair. Hello. I am joined by Laurie. Hello. I'm joined by Sully. Hello. I'm joined by Tom. Hello. I'm joined by Johnny High Jump. <laughs> it's me. And <laughs> our reigning defending board game club champion, the one only Elliot. Hi. Uh, so we are playing. <laughs> ET. That's it. Phone home. Uh, we're playing Dobbins or Bobbins uh, this week. I will be your race master for these proceedings. I am going to read out eight, not one, not six, but eight horse names. Uh, and then everyone is going to write down on their piece of paper what horse they think is the real horse. Everyone here has supplied a fake horse to every race. Uh, if you get the right horse, three points. If someone else guesses your horse, one point. Uh, I get three points if no one guesses the correct horse. Here we go. Race number one. Is the correct horse Kentucky Pill? Mrs. Robinson? Party Central? Sugared Almond? Sand Devil? Slurping the Jelly? Horseface Killer? <laughs> Or Bonnie Tyler. You are trying to guess which one of those is a real horse that ran in an actual race. It's possible that some of these did, but I went and found horses that ran uh, yesterday, in fact. Right. Um, has everyone got a, a, a horse written down? Mm -hmm. I do. I said. All right. Uh, we're going to start with Blair. Blair, All what right. do you think is the correct horse? I'm going to start off safe. I'm not going with any of the crazy names. Not yet. I'm gonna say sugared almond. I'm going, sugared. Go and sugared oh. almond. Okie dokie. Laurie. Mm. Uh, I have gone for Kentucky Pill. Kentucky. Because I think that is too random a series of words to put together <laughs> for somebody who isn't a jockey to do. Kentucky Pill. Uh, Sullivan Bo Brown. I've gone for Mrs. Robinson. Mm. Miss, I don't know if you can. Yeah. Mrs. Mrs. Robinson. Robinson. I think Kentucky, you instantly think horses when you think Kentucky. I think that's where they've, I think someone else has made that up. And sh sugar lumps for horses as well. That's my thoughts. Mm. Gone for Mrs. Robinson. Sugar lumps for horses. <laughs> uh, John. Glass of white wine for the lady. <laughs> um, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't talk about, uh, can anyone change their thing now? No, that's why I've asked no. you to write them down. Mm. Okay. Because I, well, I, I want to say why I know one of them isn't right, but I don't want to spoil it for someone else. Nah, I don't. So yeah. I'll yeah. wait till the end. Uh, I have gone for sugared almond. Sugared 
almond. And drawn a sugared almond. <laughs> and I've, I've drawn a sugar. I don't actually know what almonds look like, but I think. <laughs> but also the sugar. So if you draw a sugar, is that no, a sugar? It does look. It does look quite like thing. a salt shaker. I agree, yeah. but I don't know what a sugar shaker looks. Because like, it looks sort it, of. It looks more like you've drawn like it's like sugared <laughs> almonds coming like a pill bottle. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's the sugar. <laughs> it's medicine <That's> almond. <laughs> Larry, this isn't a fake Sorry. artist, all right? Leave it like sugar in their own arm. <laughs> he doesn't. He, he doesn't know what he's drawing. <laughs> he's no idea. That is true. Who's sugaring their own almonds? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We live in the modern age, John. No one's sugaring their own almonds nowadays. Okay. All right, fancy pants. Some of us still have to sugar our own almonds. <laughs> You've got two beds, John. <laughs> Bye, oh, 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 Yoga man has appeared. He's oh, there. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, Don't Yoga bring man. him into this. Tom. It's too late, he's here. Tom, <laughs> oh, what have you picked? Dear. I will be joining Sullivan in paying a visit to Mrs. Robinson. Mm. Okay. Um, Elliot. I mean, I feel like we've all, there's three options. I've also gone for Kentucky Pill. Kentucky. I, I kind of did the thing that Sullivan said was wrong, where I thought Kentucky and I thought, like, a horse Kentucky I, Derby. I could still be very wrong, though. Could still it's be true. very wrong. John, which yeah. one is wrong and why is it wrong? Okay, I actually, I might have made a terrible mistake here, but Kentucky Pill is a Johnny Flynn song from the second album. But I know actually, mm. Adam loves Johnny Flynn, so you might have chosen that as a double, which means I think I'm being all smart and I've actually beefed it hard. Oh so, no! So it's the opening track of Johnny Flynn's second album, and I know that Adam likes that album a lot, as do I. So I might have absolutely fucked it. So here's the points as they stand: uh, no points to Blair for Sand Devil. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, no points to Elliot for Bonnie Tyler. Uh, no points to Sullivan Bo Brown for slurping the jelly. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> that is a viscerally unpleasant name. Why am I not surprised that that was yours, Sully? Uh, Horseface Killer was Tom. <laughs> Just Very dropping Very those Wu Tang references. Is that Wu Tang <laughs> Clan? Did I make that? Did I get that wrong? Did yeah, I get that wrong? Ghostface Killer is Wu Tang, I think. Okay, good. I'm yes. <laughs> I'm incredibly Yo. white, so I shouldn't be talking about this. So, congratulations are in order to some people. Two points to John Gracie for Mrs. Robinson. Aye. Yeah. Two points to Laurie Blake for Sugared Almond. Whoa! Oh, very oh. good. Dang it. I sugar my own almonds. Which leads <laughs> us, <laughs> man of the people. Two points to me for a really excellent song, Kentucky Pill, uh, from, yes, the Johnny Flynn's second album. Uh, I love that song. And a cow-tipping expedition. Um, mm. The real horse no one picked was Party Central. Damn it. Oh, I almost oh, did. Oh, I, I literally had that written. Got rid of it. Oh, dear, right. oh, dear. So, points as they stand. Two for Adam, two for John. Oh, wait, no, sorry. You have five. One, two. There you go. Uh, five points. Yeah. Uh, two for John, two for Laurie. Five points to me because no one guessed Party Central. Mm. Oof. Off we go to race number two. Is the real horse. Hello, Mr. Dickens. Are you well? <laughs> for fuck's sake. That has got Sullivan's fingerprints all over it. Oh, no. Regular horse name? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Of course. A regular horse. Um, <laughs> is it Mozart's mistress? Is it Aladdin's cave? Is it dark and stormy? Is it Mare Quimby? <laughs> Mare Quimby. Sorry, that one's got Sullivan's fingerprints on it. Mare spelt as you would expect. M-A-R-E. Yep. <laughs> is it... Al Capone. <laughs> Very good as well. <laughs> is it Winnie the Pooh with Winnie spelt W H I N? Oh my God! What's happening? <laughs> wow. Or hopefully this is all the pun entries in one round. Or is it? Oh, trust me. No, the wheels fall off as the races <laughs> carry on. Some some of you just gave up. We're just like oh, I've got four. Oh, sod it. Um, or is it Papa's inheritance? Has everyone written their horse down? Yes. yes. Awesome. Yep. We're all good. Uh, let's go the other way this time. Elliot, let's start with you. 
Um, well, I don't. Remember, I was listening to them, and some of them were very silly. But I just, I thought about dark and stormy as mine. Dark mm -hmm. and. I don't know why. It just seemed to. I thought about like a, like a like a like a black horse, like a dark horse. It just it spoke to me. Mm. Tom. Mm. Um, I went for the only one I couldn't connect in any way to someone's backstory or interest. So for me, Dark and Stormy is a cocktail. And I know you like to make cocktails, so my suspicion was then maybe that's Adam's entry. So I went for Aladdin's Cave, realizing now, of course, it's a, um, uh, a shop that sells everything from the Channel Islands. So maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> Aladdin's Cave is Tom's choice. Uh, Juan Grundy. That's me. Um... So I'm just finishing drawing mine. Um, oh, no. I, oh, that's bad. I, okay. That's bad. There's obviously, there's a few of these that obviously are not even going to, I'm not even going to justify. Um, but I think that it's, it was down, I actually think Aladdin's Cave is a great shout because it's kind of neutrally in that world without being too strong. I was very tempted by Mozart's Mistress. I like the alliteration. I initially dismissed it as ridiculous, and I was like, oh, hold on a minute. Uh, there's a couple of rules I looked up about horse racing, legal like legal horse racing uh, name uh, kind of criteria, which means some of these are straight out the window, <laughs> but I won't, uh, I won't no. ruin which ones. Um, so this one's really, I really like this one, even if it's completely wrong. It, it is Papa's Inheritance. <laughs> Pretty good dad there. He's just uh, some glasses and a little smile. Oh, no face. Aww. He only has a mouth and glasses. I mean, he's dead. <laughs> That's about as emotional. Can we just appreciate dad? the abstract <laughs> nature of my art, and also that part of his inheritance was his skin. So he's just a. Uh, oh. oh, oh no! Don't think about it too much. <laughs> my dad's the invisible man. Could we? Uh... I'm going to stop thinking about that. If it's possible, I'd love to see a, a picture of Johnny High Jump if that's possible, mm. at some point over the course of the game. Uh, Sullivan Brown, uh, which I, horse have you gone for? I think... I've only ever been to the horse races once in my life. I was given a ticket to Ascot by a drunk man on a train. And... <laughs> <laughs> and God, it's I hope that's a real story. It's genuinely true. <sighs> genuinely true. I was sitting on a train and this bloke went, as you want to go to Ascot tomorrow, I've got a spare ticket in the members area. And I went, okay, fair, yeah, sure. And so I took the spare ticket. It was a little sort of almost like a little, it was like a paper medallion. It was really weird. I went alone. That was very odd. But I think, it, yeah, it was a very weird day. Uh, but I think I actually did see a horse called Dark and Stormy that day, I could be l wrong, but uh, I, I, I get a feeling like I bet on a horse called Dark and Stormy that day. I could Sully. be entirely wrong. Is, the, is this the man who gave you that ticket? <laughs> that was it. That I was got it. a golden ticket. <laughs> the ghost of Ascot mischief. You have a very interesting life, Sully. <laughs> He gave out a ticket to everyone on the carriage. He had so many tickets. Wait, no. He, okay, he did, my, no, he my did. My suspension of disbelief is just shot. Sully, Sully, that's 100% a trap. And I think you were <laughs> killed and replaced uh, by a sleeper agent who will activate one day. And I'm so <laughs> sorry. This, as this Ascot that you went to, <laughs> yeah. was it in was a warehouse? in Ascot? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was... <laughs> It was Loads of people around dressed this, up as horses. Yeah, in this man's garage. Oh, no. That's what Ascot is, right? And then we kicked him to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We kicked, yeah. I thought um, I was quite tempted by Dark and Stormy because I also feel like I've seen a horse race called Dark and Stormy. But I actually went with Mozart's Mistress because I thought Mozart's written some blooming bangers that you could ride a horse to. <laughs> sure has. Uh, sure. Such as? I don't know. Cool. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. No. Mozart's 10th, the equine suite. Yes. <laughs> I'd like to say that the Mozart Bistune Concerto is an absolute banger. And I have also gone with Mozart's mistress, Ooh. not because of this fact, but because I felt like Adam would have picked it because he would have thought it would have been a red herring for people, thinking that I had written it. But I think, mm. I think... I think it's the real horse. I think Dark and Stormy is just too common. Damn. He's trying to, he's trying to get those three points. Horse. He's trying to get those three points. <laughs> yeah. so. A bit suspicious of that really horsey horse. <laughs> All right, horse, what's the problem with you? Yeah. I don't like my horses too horse, thank you. Bloody hell. <laughs> Put some glasses the on thing. or something. It's kind of a bit hard to be a horse, fucking horse, isn't it? <laughs> is this just a horse? Yeah, yes, Ali. Of course, uh, no one picked Hello, Mr. Dickens. Are you well? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect 
regular horse. horse name. <laughs> just a regular horse. That what was called Sally's say? fever what dream. What you say trip. in the morning when you see Hello, Mr. Dickens in the field? And say, hello, Hello, Mr. Dickens. Are you well? Are you well? <laughs> I was just thinking about it in the sense of like, you know, when you like hear them announcing a race and they're like, and it's so so is in front. It's, and it's hello, Mr. Dickens. Are you well in front now? Hello, Mr. Dickens. Are you well? It's too long. I mean, it's too yeah. many. Uh, I don't know what you mean, guys. It's also, great. unfortunately, no one picking theirs. Uh, no one picked Al Capone, Elliot. I'm very <laughs> sorry. It's Big very fan. Good Come on. Big Who's fan. was Al Capone? That was Elliot. That was mine. Tom, uh, congratulations. Your two points for Mozart's mistress. Oh. That was oh. very good. Very good, a Tom. triple well bluff. Done, Tom. Very good, Tom. Really good. Um, can't complain. That is some points for you, Laurie, for Aladdin's Cave. Very, very well mm. done. Uh, no one, unfortunately, went for mine, which was Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> that was yours. Uh, yeah. Very and Blair, one point for Papa's Inheritance. Oh, sorry. Was oh, two po- one point it. for Papa's Inheritance. Very, very mm-hmm. good. Yeah, which I means that the right answer was Mare Quimby. <laughs> Dark and Stormy. Oh. oh no, no, no! Dark and Stormy was John Gracie's. So That's many fun. points for Dark and Stormy. Well done, well done. Oh, Mayor Quimby. Mayor Quimby. Mayor Quimby. Mayor Quimby. Oh. So, so good. Fuck me. I, I, I threw that one in there especially early, just so you all know the bets are off, my friend. Yep. Mm, the yeah. The silliest no, one no rules now. could be right. Okay, so the scores as they stand. Do correct me if I think I, but I think these are right. In, in joint last place with Nil Poir are Elliot and Sully. Then um, it's Blair with one. <laughs> Tom has two. Laurie has three. John has four Whoa. for uh, Dark and Stormy. And I have eight. Eight? Because <laughs> none, oh. none of you fuckers could find a horse. Uh, race number three. Horse, son of horse. <laughs> <laughs> Horse, son of horse. That's probably it now, after Mayor Quimby. It's definitely it. Uh, or is it The Punisher? Is it Is it Sir Clips of the House Clops? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sir Clips? Is it? If it's not, I want it to be. Lord Clopalopidus. <laughs> is it A Horse with No Name? Ooh, is it... Her suit, gentlemen. Is it Arctic Tickle? Is it Bareback Jack? Or Jesus. is it Cicero? Oh. This is yeah. These are these are tricky horses. Mm. I just want to point out when I was looking for my horse names, I went through like a Wikipedia article that was like winners of. I just used the Grand National, and like it goes back to like eighteen thirty nine, and those horses are called like Jerry. Matthew, Dave. like all this stuff. <laughs> Dave, uh, and Steve like... is always a contender. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, the just... best horse name ever though was from the eighteen seventies, and it was a horse that was called um, pot uh, potatoes, right? <laughs> and it was spelt. <laughs> Pot, with eight P's. And then it was eight O's afterwards <laughs> yeah. because they, they, the, the person had mis, misheard what he meant. So he's like, "Can you call it potatoes, please?" And he went, "Okay, pot eight O's. Okay, great." And then that became Whoa. the horse's name, potatoes. <laughs> Phenomenal. Oh, oh potatoes. 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 Blair. All right. What so, did you choose and why? I have chosen one that you might laugh at me for, but I think it's just, I like, even if it's not the real horse name, I want this person to get some points. So I'm going with uh, Sir Clips of the House Clops. Are you kidding me, Blair? I'm doing it. <laughs> Clips of the House Clops. <laughs> if it's that, I will I will eat my, my horse, which I do not have. <laughs> A safe bet. We'll get a horse and eat it. <laughs> we'll get a horse and eat it. <laughs> it's an expensive meal. Uh, yeah. Laurie. I've gone for Arctic Tickle because it sounds fun to say. And I feel like that's a thing you would do when you were naming a horse so that you could hear it said by the commentators. Arctic Tickle. Say Arctic. it with me, everyone. One, two, three. Arctic Tickle. Oh, it is nice to say. Arctic Tickle. Sully. 
Um, uh, I I have gone for unfortunately uh, a horrible name for a horse, but I think this is it. Bareback Jack. Bareback <laughs> Jack. Gone for Bareback Jack. It is a horrible name for a horse. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, John. Uh, I did a bunch. A bunch. I spent two minutes looking on Wikipedia uh, before this and. I noticed the name Jack came up quite a lot in horses, so I've also gone for bareback Jack, and you can see there he is. Uh, oh, he's just say- got a bareback. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's and saying potus. Potus. And that's his shirt. <clears throat> that's Why is his shirt? How is his? How is his shirt completely? It's like a War of the Worlds. What exactly? I'll tell you why. Like... Because Invisible Dad is wearing it, but you just can't <laughs> see him. <laughs> Here, let, let me clarify. Invisible dad. So many merchandising opportunities. <laughs> there you go. I've got oh, some inheritance for you, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Tom. So Burback Jack just sounds a little bit too much like a horse name to me. Um, so looking out my window at the falling snow, I feel when this is all over, I will treat myself to an Arctic tickle. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to know what you're doing in the story. Cold fingers of fun. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Oh dear. Tom just walking into the into the white, never to be seen again. (laughs) Uh, Because the thing is, Tom, you can't tickle yourself. So who who are you tickling? I think you misunderestimate. I'm not going to finish that (laughs) sentence. I now feel really terrible for my answer because I have also picked up Tickle and now all I'm thinking about is Tom. (laughs) (laughs) Playing in the snow, the cold (laughs) hands of fear. Blair, uh, I'll take one point for Sir Clips of the House Clubs. Oh, That'll you're do, very so welcome. do me. You're very welcome. De- definitely deserve the point, yeah. Um, <laughs> Tom, I'm afraid no one went for uh, horse, son of horse. <laughs> uh, Blair, the, so the Punisher also got no, yeah. uh, no choosers. I could have sworn that was Tom. I am very surprised that no one went with her suit gentleman, Laurie. I, I thought, nearly did. Mm, Mm. I thought that was I right really right in there. Uh, similarly, no votes for a horse with no name. Mm. Um, I, uh, I just Elliot. didn't pick good good names. For this. <laughs> that was Elliot. Uh, Cicero did not get one, which I was surprised by, John. Mm. Yeah, Cicero, no points. Which leaves us with Arctic Tickle and Bear Back Jack. Oh, man. Sully has creamed in the points because not only did he write Arctic Tickle, but the correct answer was indeed <laughs> Bear Back Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Sully. Thank Super. you very much. Well Thank done, you. Sullivan. It's three points Thank to John, uh, several points to Sully. Um, so the scores look like this. In last place with no points, your champion <laughs> and mine, Elliot. Oh, <laughs> Elliot. Uh, then just, Blair. Blair has one single point. Yay. That's uh, strong one point. Tom is in next place with two points. Then Laurie with three. And this is where it gets interesting. Sully has six points. John has seven points. Whoa. And I've got nine. So the gap Whoa. has closed quite considerably, mm. as you can see that it can. So uh, we have two races left, all still to play for maybe right Mm. (laughs) here we go here goes nothing race number four which of these is the correct dobbins is it van rouge or van rouge i suppose (laughs) van rouge van rouge (laughs) vin rouge like like vin Vin diesel Diesel. but red uh, okay so it's it's like okay it's the, it's the French word for wine. Yes. Va yeah, yeah. Rouge. Is it Jemima Puddle Horse? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Yes. Jemima yes, Puddle Horse. Yes, well, you can is. stop the list there, Adam. I think we're going with Jemima Puddle Horse. <laughs> well, I'll take it. Is it... Jemima Puddle Horse. Is it Do Not Disturb? Is it Nightmares? Is it, these eggs aren't mine? (laughs) (laughs) Sullivan Brown. (laughs) 
<laughs> could be anybody. Could be anybody. <laughs> Would you like a oh horse ticket? I've got a horse ticket. <laughs> <laughs> you get, you like, here's a ticket. You get to ride him and everything. Um, <laughs> is the is the correct horse? Ten four, good buddy. Is it Thunder Hooves or is it Hot Pot Hero? It's uh, it's really heating up here, folks, at uh, Ascot, at the, <laughs> at the man's garage, <laughs> with with loads of well-intentioned actors just in cages. Oh, <laughs> horrible! Uh, it was the best night of my life. <laughs> Panto horse slobberknocker. Got to put on a show for this kid. He met a guy on a train. Who said this is Ascot. <laughs> It was one of, it was a really nice day. We had a fantastic fireworks show. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, <laughs> <right>. fireworks. <laughs> it was fireworks and everyone was dressed up in suits. We and, were uh, chucking them at windows, the fireworks. <laughs> All the men in suits. Sully, Sully's grand day out. What a genuinely lovely, heartwarming tale. <laughs> Sully had a lovely time, and that's a, that's a lovely thing to hear. And all it took was 10 grams of LSD. <laughs> He's still in the garage. This whole thing has been a hallucination. Sully, Sully, you're in a horse suit. Wake up, mate. Wake up. Hey. Hey. My pick for horse is uh, quite simply Hot Pot Hero. Hot Pot Hero. Because it sounds like your song Jukebox Hero. Absolutely. <laughs> That's the only reason I picked it. <laughs> uh, Tom. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to agree with Elliot here. Hot Pot Hero has the alliteration of a good horse name. And also Hero feels like a word that turns up in a lot of horse names. And I got burnt last time from steering away from Jack. So Hot Pot Hero. John. I This is a tricky one. But you know that, that famous American, I think like senator or Supreme Court person who was like, someone asked him to define like pornography or like, and he was like, I don't know. I don't know how to define it, but I know it when I see it. Is that, is that anecdote ringing a bell or have I just nope. dreamed it? <laughs> I think you've made that up, mate. <laughs> yep. I think God. that's for, what's John, what's your horse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's nothing to do with this. <laughs> so I've made my own porno and here I'm going to debut it. Um, so hot pot hero, uh, hot pot hero. I don't know why, but, I know it when I see it. That is a horse name. And here, here is a little hot pot hero. He's got a sword in the shoe. Oh, very Lift good. Yeah. He's ready, he's ready to go. He's got a dungeon yes. to crawl. He's Aww. also, it's a great he's winking. name. Winking. Yeah, he's winking. Of course he is. Look at him. He's ready to slay some, slay some monsters. And then drink from his own head. I'll cosplay as that next. Sully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've gone uh, for nightmares. Nightmares. In the process of choosing that, I forgot how to spell the word night. I uh, <laughs> I'm occasionally I'm occasionally a writer, and I couldn't spell the word night. <laughs> Did you spell it with a K? <laughs> I've spelled I it with just... eight O's. <laughs> moves. Night moves. Anyway, night moves. Laurie That's Blake. Cows were racing. <laughs> Do not disturb. Do not disturb for. Do Laurie. not disturb is very good. Just think that might be it. All right. Yeah. And bigblair.com. Yeah. That's me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, oh, I was. Cracking nickname. Yeah. <laughs> what if that's an actual website? Someone get the URL. Please not. make it. No, please don't. All right. Um, it's a really close up picture of Blair. Just Blair towering over cities. You can use this. Blair.com. Don't challenge the internet to do something. They will do it. All right. So I was going to go Hot Pot Hero because that does uh -huh. just sound like the right horse. But then. I was also really, I, I liked 10 for a good buddy for some reason. I don't know why. And I've just gone with it. And I have no reasoning. I None whatsoever. One. But I'm going with 10 mm. for a good buddy. All righty. Room. All right. So, um, unfortunately, no one went for Van Rouge, John Gracie. Very good name. The, high, the highbrow ones are not doing well. Cicero and Van Rouge. Not a, not a whiff. Mm. 
Uh, similarly, um, these eggs aren't mine. Was, uh, <laughs> they are no- not similar. They are not similar at all. <laughs> Very similar. <laughs> I resent the implication, sir. If they're, hey, if they're Fabergé eggs, it might be quite a... Yeah, like absolutely. A thing. Yeah. Similar yeah. level... Yes, these a, eggs aren't mine. That sim- was the announcer. Jesus Clearly Christ. high. <laughs> a similar quality of contribution. These <laughs> eggs aren't mine. Netted no, no points for Tom. <laughs> Yeah, it was Tom. Oh, it was me. I told you. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, give it away. Thunder hooves. No points for <laughs> you, Blair. Yeah, Sorry right. about that. No. Um, I will apps. Uh, <laughs> Jemima puddle horse. Sully Bo Brown. <laughs> you. <Yay. laughs> no points, I'm afraid. Um, however, Elliot, you are on the scoreboard. One point for nightmares. Very, very Yay. good. Oh, I have a point. Yeah. Uh, Similarly, 10-4, good buddy, netted me a one yeah. point. Thank oh, you, Blair. I knew that was yours, Adam. In your head. Yeah. And then that leaves us with Do Not Disturb and Hot Pot Hero. They're both very Congratulations, large. Laurie, because Hot Pot Hero was his, which means oh. that wow. Do Not Disturb was the correct horse. Well, good Bravo. job, Laurie. Well done. So, Damn it. Wow. So... It's close for some. Here's who it's not close for. Blair and Elliot. <laughs> one point apiece. Yeah. <laughs> Doing fine. Um, yeah. Then Tom has two points. And then it leaps up to Sully with six. Uh, John with seven. Uh, Laurie with eight. And me with ten. We gotta be oh, Adam. That's the only on, the goal hero. right now. Could be his, his first his first win. It could be my first board game club win. I'm so gotta excited. Shut it down. Shut, shut it down. down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's take this from him, everyone. Yeah. Damn. Everyone Damn, vote yeah, for yeah. a different horse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we can't lose. There's one. There's one more than there are players. So eat shit. Quick. Blair. Just oh, go to bigblair.com. I've written all the answers there. <laughs> <laughs> Race number five. Which of these is the true Dobbins and which are the fake Bobbins? Race number five. Is it unexpected depth? Stir ups some trouble. Jesus. <laughs> my kingdom four. Oh, a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. <laughs> Tiny dancer. Stephen the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> It's the last round. I don't need points. <laughs> oh, now I think it's the actual horse. All right, sorry. Stephen the murderer. I don't. <laughs> Stephen the murderer. Are you kidding me? And Stephen the want... murderer in hot pursuit. <laughs> yeah, just imagine a real human saying these names over a microphone in a in a race context. Is it diva? Is it? Hoof, there it is. I want it to be that Whoa. song. There it is. Hoof. Uh, or is it sad and lonely? Okay. This is it. Final race, race number five. Uh, let's go with, we start with Blair. I'm going to work our way down. Blair, A lot of pressure. what have you guessed? A lot of pressure. The These all just didn't sound like horse names to me so I went with the only one that slightly did um, and that that is Tiny Dancer. I know it's a bit of a risk, it is a song, but go on with it. Go on Tiny Dancer. Laurie. I feel like someone could get a lot of points because, horse me closer Tiny Dancer. Horse me closer. Horse me closer. <laughs> That's a shirt for you. Horse, horse me, closer, me closer Tiny Dancer. <laughs> uh, Sully. Count the headlights on the horseway. It's Tiny Dancer. <laughs> Name me down in sheets of linen. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, Shelton John? No, anyway. Uh, John, what have you gone for? I, I, when you read those out, I was like, oh, yeah, I put Tiny Dancer down. And then you read my one out, and I'm like, shit, I didn't put Tiny Dancer down. I changed it at the last minute. So I'm really confused. Um... But I think the most likely one is unexpected depth. <gasps> unexpected depth. And you'll notice Ooh. from the P that I initially wrote unexpected death and then realised that's not the name. 
<laughs> which, <laughs> to be honest, death. unexpected depth has caused the unexpected deaths of many horses. Of in the many a horse. Let's be honest. Many so, horses. Many that's, people. That's, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's very sad. Very sad name if it's real. That's very sad. <laughs> <laughs> I took it more as like unexpected, like potential and uh, yeah. resources as opposed like emotional to depth. jumping like, off a thing it, and dying. Yeah. <laughs> and then dying because their legs are broken. Yeah, <laughs> being taken Happened out back. all the time. Oh, it was so sad. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry. Bad sport. Let's only play <laughs> it virtually for So them. you had a great time at Ascot, yeah. Sully. <laughs> <laughs> they made me kill all the horses, even, the, oh God. even the, the, horses, the healthy ones. The horses were turned into glue, which Sully then no, sniffed with no, the guy no, in the train. No, no, no. No. The cycle That's continued. Why I'm here. Please. Okay. Tom, okay. I, I ask of you now to please save us from ourselves. <laughs> oh, dear. I feel we're long overdue a genuine, ridiculous horse, so I actually went for. Hoof, there it is. Hoof, Who I believe yeah. it's closely related Hoof to oh. is. Hoof, bitch, get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> from the same noble lineage. That is actually um, from the a D&D awesome. campaign I was part of a while ago. We had um, an octopus. And one, of the, one of the players was an octopus who had bought a donkey who they named Hoof, bitch, get out the way. Great. <laughs> nice. Elliot, um, the final horse uh, guess, well, please. Considering I was trail in the bottom and I don't think I'm going to get anywhere for this i just decided to go with steven the murderer steven the murderer (laughs) because i want that i want there to be a horse called steven the murderer and i want him to have a a brother called dave the arsonist (laughs) so (laughs) here we go steven the murderer following in his wake unexpected death (laughs) <laughs> Stephen the murderer has netted Tom B a surprising yeah. one point good job Tom <laughs> well done Tom well done Tom uh, you're welcome yes. well done Tom sad and lonely unfortunately netted you no points Sully uh. <laughs> um, Diva unfortunately netted you no points John uh, My oh. Kingdom 4 netted me no points uh, Steer up some trouble Blair nil point I'm afraid yeah. Which leaves us uh, with Hoof, There It Is, Tiny Dancer, and Unexpected Depth. I mean, I'm very, very glad that someone went for it. That's one point to you, Laurie, for Hoof, There It Is. Yeah. (laughs) And that leaves three points for Elliot for Tiny Dancer. And three points for John for Unexpected Depth, which was the correct horse. Can I just... Mm. To just point out real quick, I'd actually started to write unexpected depth before I decided oh. to just go stupid. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. So the points as they stand in last place, it's Blair. Thank you. <laughs> BigBlair.com. <laughs> She's tall, but she knows nothing about horses. Nothing about horses, apparently. Yeah. She can't even see him. Um, <laughs> Tom. Ants to her, they are. Ants. Tom has three (laughs) points. Congratulations to Tom. Uh, Then Elliot, uh, zooming uh, straight into, I want to say, fourth fourth? place with four points. Sully with six. Laurie is in second place with nine points. In joint first place with ten points apiece is Adam and John. Oh, we no. each have 10. So we're going to have to go to the tie horse, break horse, tie breaker, horse breaker. Uh, John Don't Gracie. call it the horse breaker. The horse breaker. <laughs> Stephen uh, the murderer. The horse breaker. So we have a tie break. So what we've decided to do is just keep going until there's a winner. Um, race number six bonus content is this the correct horse is it ugly smelly boy (laughs) is it the main attraction main spelt m-a-n-e of course is it sunny disposition is it jump you beauty is it golden slither Sorry, mm-hmm. Golden Sliver. Because otherwise Golden Slither is... No. <laughs> golden the horse with no legs. <laughs> golden Sliver. Is it Scottish accent? Is it 
paddock and chips. <laughs> oh, oh god oh. that's really good that is... that's a good one or is it victor <laughs> is it victory lap do we all have a horse written down yes their best guess at a dobbins hoping not for a bobbins elliot we're going to start with you please okay um well i don't know how to spell it very well but i just Sort of went with my gut, and I went with uh, a lovely sunny disposition. I don't know how you spell disposition. Mm. Sunny e. disposition. Yeah, it just sounded nice. Sounded like a nice horse. Teebles. Sounds like a nice horse. Sunny disposition was a loquacious mob boss I played um, as a sort of favour to Adam um, <laughs> in a pun-filled um, gangster play years and years ago. So I don't. I think that might be Adam's contribution. Called uh, Death by Demise. Death by Demise. Oh, that was right. Oh, who who no. was your character? I can't remember. Uh, I can't. I, well, I directed the first one, uh, but then I was in. I was Luigi. Luigi Funnybone. I think. Yeah, that was. It. Oh yeah, you were one of my mooks. I remember that. So what you're saying is I was wrong. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, so Tom, what did you actually go for? I went for because I feel this is some kind of power play on your part by finding this is the real horse victory lap. Victory lap. Mm. Uh, J to the G. Uh, I mean, I think it is. Well, I thought it. Yeah, no, I thought it was sunny disposition. Now I'm not sure at all. Um, and the reason I've changed to a book is because I'm drawing a long and detailed Johnny high jump. Um, so I can't. I can't use my main one. But I think sunny disposition. Fantastic, Sullivan. I've gone for jump, you beauty. Jump, you beauty. Uh, Laurie. Uh, I just thought there was a nice poetry to Victory Lap being the mm. real horse. But mm. if any of you wrote this, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Laurie. Nice. <laughs> nice. Really measured yeah. response. And yeah. Blair. I have also gone with Sunny Disposition, and I also didn't know how to spell it, so. Does anyone know how to spell Disposition? So that's two for Sunny yeah, Disposition, right two for Victory Lap, and. Uh, we've also had one for Jump You Beauty. Okay, here's how this works. It's three for Sunny Disposition. Yeah, wasn't it three? Because it was me, Blair, and John. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes, absolutely, you're right. So, no points to Sullivan for Ugly Smelly Boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> a, su a surprising lack of points for Elliot for the main attraction. Mm. Thought that mm. was going to get a, a, a few hooks. Mm. Laurie. Oh, well. Congratulations on your three points for Sunny Disposition. Oh, Thank you. Oh, it was very good. Nice. I will very take good. one point for Jump You Beauty. Oh, no. Um, Scottish Slither. Scottish, Scottish Slither. Slither. Scottish it's Slither. also not that. <laughs> no, that's a Scottish accent. No, no, that's uh, Blair. Let's <laughs> do nil, nil point. Yep. Uh, Paddock and Chips. Unfortunately, nothing for Tom, but I'm a oh. big fan. Victory lap netted John Gracie two points. Oh no! Oh, which means. Because oh, no. no. none of you got that it was Scottish yeah. accents. It's Adam oh, for, the, for the win. Oh my god. The final scores are Blair, last place, one point. Then yeah, Tom yeah. with three. Elliot with four. Uh, then we zoom up to Sully with six. Then in joint second place with 12 points apiece, it's Laurie and John Gracie. But <sighs> in first place with 14, it's me! Oh, Yay. congratulations, Adam. First time. It only took you, like, what, 10 episodes? I did it, everybody. Oh. I did it. <laughs> uh, the streak is broken. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. I am your board game club champion. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, do play a game of Dobbins or Bobbins yourself. Uh, you, it's the easiest thing in the world to set up and a huge amount of fun. Uh, we shall see you for next week's board game club. Goodbye, everybody. Uh, but before we go, I oh, uh, oh, have had oh, some oh, requests oh, 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 to oh, oh, yes, draw yes, yes. Johnny High Jump featuring Bobby Little Legs. As you can That's see, it. I am an artist. Um, so. Uh, I guess I'll just show you the whole thing in one. All right, it's a lot to unpack here. Wow. Wow. It's the yoga man. Oh, He's got an horrible. element of yoga man. He uh, really does. I mean, his legs, his hideous legs. The, leg, the legs and the eye wink is yoga man. He's doing, doing a high jump. 
bobby little legs saying hey up down uh, there have another oh run. he's northern oh, oh, oh he's northern. potentially um oh. i hope you enjoy how i spelt feet so yeah, very good, there. very good. And just see your feet to jump. Yeah. Just see what's you the bottom You can see bigblair.com just appearing. Oh, bigblair.com <laughs> just there. Yeah. I, I, I really appreciate that he's just not jumping either. He's still on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually just he's bent just, his. He's, he's just, just bent, just the, he's bent the bottom of his legs up. <laughs> That's yeah. just how he looks. It's beautiful. He just walks along kind of. He's <laughs> bent over. He's, he's just enormous and hyper-mobile. So he's just... <laughs> uh, we will see you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Get on board. 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 Or else, <laughs> or else, or else, high jumps <laughs> coming for you. <laughs> you'll never come back, and you'll be taken straight to Ascot. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>